previously on Choo Choo Charles. I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but something has happened at the mines I've been supervising. They call him Charles. Half train, half giga spider from hell. Right him up! Right him up! Oh, I'm working. Oh no! <laughs> this isn't how things were supposed to end. There we go. Ooh. It's the rail gun. Oh. I thought it was far enough. Oh, come on. So, did I get the weapon, or...? Nope. So I got a badly damaged train, and, uh... Oh, I did. What? I'm not gonna stick around to find out. Launcher is in complete working order, so I'll let you take it from here. Oh, and take good care of it. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. Huh. Sure do. Thank you. And there it is. The Boomer. There's one more corner of the island to visit. Should I at least get the train with me normally. Uh, there's someone at the docks, so he's close by. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. I don't like all those noises. Alright, at 
What is the trains getting summoned here? Right, this is my stack. My goodness, the others actually convinced someone to come help us. Yes. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? It's a dangerous journey for sure, but you might manage with that train of yours. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Just please bring the journal next time you're here. Good deal. So where is it? It's over there. Yeah, a bit far from home. Praying someone the first year evacuation group would send back another boat, but I guess I'll think that George's supply boat is still evacuating people. We're all safe and cozy on the mainland. Would feel no obligation to make sure everyone else escapes. I noticed that Charles sinking the boat isn't something anyone would expect. But still, to think where I would I would have left this place by now, it makes me sick. Wait, he sank the boat? How'd he do that? <clears throat> he like attack it or something? Well, I mean, it's along the way, so. I know these are optional missions, but, you know, scrap metal and. Well, I want to know more about this, Charles. fixed. Okay, good. Oh yeah, since I don't have great pain, let's see what that looks like. Ooh, not bad. Just well, the, the way the black was coated over the yellow, it just didn't really mix very well. You're that monster hunter. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? Well, me 
Someone or something has been <clears throat> exactly 16 drawings to lamppost in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? Sure. For the past seven days, there has been some sort of strange happenings in a nearby boulder field. A week ago, I went up there to clear my mind, as I often do, and found a strange drawing pinned to a lamppost. I took down a page and burned it because it seemed like the best way to deal with paranormal paper. Next night, I found even more drawings and burned them as well. I found exactly 16 drawings, multiple nights in a row, and now they are coming by horrific, ghastly noises. Don't feel safe going out there again. My best guess is that the place is haunted, maybe by our lost crew members, maybe by something else. Oh, I wonder what could be out there. Hmm. It's a bit far. Faster. Hello. There it is. It's over here. Is this the temple? I like how it's like a smoke signal. Alright, got the journal. I want to be on the boulder. I'm pretty sure the scrap at this point uh, just randomly spawns out, which I mean is a good thing. Means I can stock up and uh, upgrade the train. What are those are the ghastly noises she was talking about? Thank you so much for bringing my journal. You're welcome. I would hope for your own good that you didn't peek inside. That was an option. But, um, here are those scraps I promised. You, well, you didn't promise scraps, but I'll take it. Just going to that field of boulders is risky. Well, 
But what can I say? I haven't accomplished just, well, what I feel like anyways. Okay. Ooh, 42. Perfect. But, you know, I'm going to heal myself by running into him again. Um, let's go to him. He's on the way. Choo choo. Welcome to Araniram, Archivist Museum person. <laughs> okay, Araniram. My apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. No, I mean, I kind of am. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity, if you're interested. What's that? A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in the nearby canyon. But the goons have set up a camp to protect that area. So be careful. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scraps as payment. <laughs> it's like scrap has become gold around here. Before the cave-in, I pushed a spare railcar into the canyon using my beautiful old mining train. I figured a railcar would be a fine place to hide my most, more important belongings, especially on a rural and unfinished track. I wanted to get something out of the railcar in the canyon back a week ago, but some of Warren's men had built a campsite or base of some sorts there. I don't know how to get my box safely, and I don't know how long I'll last without it. Hmm. So it has some significant importance. Where is it? So either way, it's pretty much far from the train. That is kind of one thing I don't like about this game is that you don't really have a way to defend yourself. I mean, yeah, I, I get the idea behind it, but same time it's just it's just a bit inconvenient <clears throat> and I guess to kind of explain the idea is just to kind of uh, I guess not where you can you know go guns blazing you kind of have to you know focus on survival stealth and that way you don't break the game I just kind of wish there was at least a little something to defend myself with oh they got beds in there Get out of here. Hey. Yeah, that guy won't leave me alone. What the Seriously? Oh shit.
Whew. Well, that seemed to work. You're in the wrong place, my friend. No one gets You beat it. Should be a good spot. Alright. Charles should be gone for now, so... Okay, so the idea is that I'm going to try to sneak around, and if they happen to catch me, then I guess I'll just... Don't visit us alone. So like in this case, uh, with this guy pursuing my ass... Why the heck is my fire room still going bonkers? Like, my, my game frame rate's fine. It's the recording frame rate for whatever reason. Better hope you're fast. Where'd he go? Well, how the heck am I supposed to... See, the thing I don't get is that, um, like, on my end, the game's fine, but as far as recording, it's going all frame rate. So I'm going to try approaching from a different angle this time. There they are. And he already spotted me. Okay, let's head back to the train. I'm going to shoot you! That's nice. I know I probably should be like, oh no, like that. Actually, I tell you, those masks are actually a little freaky. <laughs> Right 
Now, hopefully, I won't have to deal with any more of them. I mean, it's pretty much kind of the plan is just basically draw them to the train and then light them up. That's all of them. There's the box. I really don't like those ominous noises. That's the exact box I needed. Now take these scraps and skedaddle. Okay then. You're welcome. <clears throat> nice. Job done. And to end this reign of terror. Well, first I'll need the eggs. Okay. From the boulder field. Which is that way. Ugh. Let's see what's down over there first. This shed. Might be better if I just. I'm trying to think what would be the closest to get to it if I need to run back to the train. I mean, right here has got a highlighted path, so. I, I'll go for it. So wait, is this a reference to Slenderman? Because if so, I hate it.
I'm really glad I have unlimited stamina. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a ghost. Well, I mean, that wasn't already obvious. Okay, so yeah, they just teleport me out. My problem is this goes down and get ten times faster while I try to figure out where this last page is. Definitely a ghost. 
I mean, at least it was harmless. All I did was just spook me. But, you know, instead of killing me. That was totally a Slenderman reference, though. Tempting, but I probably shouldn't do it. Thanks for bringing me those papers. You're welcome. Here are some scraps for your help. Thank you. Every little bit helps. in front of me. What am I supposed to do about that? supposed to do if he's in front of me. I'm dead. Oh, I didn't even get to put it in the scraps. Well, good thing I didn't lose a lot. I guess next time I'll just need to redirect the train forward. I mean, it's looking more fortified. Anyways. that that direction so Let's stop here Close enough. Hello. Mine has been proceeding smoothly and we're seeing signs of a solid vein already. The tools are still holding up. Well, we finished constructing our shelter. We haven't spent long here, but we're getting settled in and adopted to a good rhythm and scheduled our work. That was a good thing. <coughs> Ooh, can I take that? Oh, why are you telling me like that? Like I, I'm just a train conductor. Anyways, let's 
be on our way. Every little bit helps. Be a repair my train or upgrading it so it's more fortified. The monster hunter has arrived, I see. Yep. This is no ordinary hunt, mind you. We've already tried fighting Charles, but he retreats into the wilderness if he is sufficiently harmed. We believe there may be a way to get Charles to commit to a mortal battle, however. Dispersed around the island are three eggs, locked in the island's three primary mines. Our theory is that putting these eggs in the temple at the center of the island will provoke Charles into a fight to the death. Unfortunately, the mining company owner, Warren Charles III, has placed armed guards inside each mine to protect the eggs. There's an egg in the mine just down the rail. Here's the key to the mine. I've marked the entrance on your map. Sure, any tips on what you know, what can I do with the guards? Look, kid, I know you're supposed to be some fancy pants monster hunter, but you can't earn my respect without making yourself useful. Um, aren't I already doing that by trying to hunt One of Warren's thing? goons dumped a locked chest in the yard last night. After beating on it for a few hours, I didn't break anything but a sweat. I got some lock picks, but I don't know how to use them. Here, take them. If you can get that chest open, you'll earn my respect, and I might just give you some scraps to help improve your train. So what is up with his arms? It's like these bandages are like cut off or something. Kind of wondering, like, what will happen once I take down Charles? Like, will my operations resume, or will something else occur? Ah, the junkyard. Where I'm good at this. Mm. Okay. Oh, 
come on. I almost had it. Damn, it's like I try to time it before it hits and it's like, nope, it's got to be d dead on. I think I figured out the trick. Just give me one second. There we go. What the heck? Anyways, the trick is basically wait until it gets starts to go past the uh, dot and then boom. <laughs> well, fancy fingers here got the chest unlocked. <laughs> <sighs> That's an odd-looking piece of junk you found inside there. Bit of a letdown, to be frank. But you earned my respect, so here's some scraps, like I promised. Cool. Helpful for the train. Ooh. Maximum armor. Look at that. Fully armed beauty. Looks nice. Alrighty, let's uh, go be the next weapon master. Flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see, that is slightly uh, backfired. <laughs> huh, I see Nearly that. cooked myself alive in that shed as I was testing it. Shoot, dang. I would love to save the shed, though. If a uh, flamethrower somehow still works after the fire dies down, well, you can take it. I'd assume you're the monster hunter that folks have been expecting, so, uh, a weapon like this could come in handy. Sure can. Just, uh, I guess I gotta figure out how to get that fire out. Using the water tank to put out the fire. Pure genius. Woohoo! Here, take old bug spray. Cause of this chaos. I don't want to see it anywhere near here again. Shoot, dang. Thanks. Ooh, orange. More scrap.
Damage range slow. Okay. I get the gist. There it is. Unfortunately, I'm on my own from here. Request that Mr. Warren visit the Southern Mine site and his earliest convenience and give us further instructions. Interesting. Okay. Lean into. Oh, okay. See what orange looks like. Ooh, not bad. So wait, with the trade fully upgraded. Nope. What about green? Ooh, that actually makes the trade look nice. Talk between orange and green though, because both of them are nice colors. And we got gray. I'll stick with gray for now. I mean, the other two colors were good, so. 
Okay, that's one down. Let's go say hi to that person. Okay, it's one two scraps. I'll hold on to him so I can upgrade my damage. Yeah, I wonder what would happen if you were able to get aboard Charles. Like, could could you like control his engine or something? Oh wait, stop. Hello. Eugene told us we'd have a newcomer soon. I suppose that would be you. I suppose so. There's some scrap metal in the balcony room of my house that you could use to repair and upgrade your train. Here's the key. And although the balcony is right behind me, I'll just mark it on your map anyway. <laughs> As a side note, talk to anyone around here and uh, they'll do whatever they can to help. Anyone not wearing a mask, that is. Yeah, Check true. out the balcony and take whatever you can use. Good luck with everything. Thanks. Yeah. I would ask if you could let me the gun, but you probably will use it to defend yourself, so... Wait, can I like lockpick the doors or something? We've been waiting as patiently as we can, but the past few days have been chaotic to say the least. Charles has been more aggressive lately to the point where I'm starting to fear how many of us will be left by the time help arrives. Godspeed, Eugene. We're counting on you. Yeah, unfortunately he didn't survive. Yeah. 
know, that just really sucks. It's like, if Charles sees you and you're outside your train, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah, I will say that while I was watching the uh, behind the scenes of him creating stuff, it looked just as much fun as it did as animating. Oh, ow. Ooh, got a witch brewing. Well, hello, darling. Hello. I'm making a fresh stew with ingredients from my very own swamp. But I don't have any meat at the moment. I smell a carcass on the island in the swamp, and if you wait over there and bring it back for me, I'll pay you some scraps. Although, you'll need to be wary of Barry, the <laughs> swamp monster. Keep an eye out for him splashing around, and don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still, he's as kind as a kitten. Oh, well, that's encouraging. Swamp water, salt, clover, dirt, salt, meat of any kind, including human meat, and then salt. Well, I'm glad I'm not on the menu. Yeah. 